Hi guys. I'd like to start today's lesson with a story. Infinite amount of mathematicians walk into a bar. The first one orders a beer. The second orders half a beer. And the third orders a third of a beer. The bartender yells, Are you trying to ruin me? Get the hell out of here! Why was bartender so angry? We can simply explain that having knowledge about numerical series. So we'll return to this question at the end of the lesson and now let's start with the definition of series. A series is a sum of all the terms of a sequence. Finite sequences in series have their first and last terms defined, whereas infinite sequences in series continue indefinitely. In math, given an infinite sequence a of n, which is the terms a1, a2, a3, and so on. A series is a result of adding all those terms together. a1 plus a2 plus a3, and so on. Or we can write this more compactly as the sum of a of n for n from 1 to infinity. The famous example is a harmonic series, which goes like 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third. So this is very similar to the situation in the bar. We can also write this more compactly as the sum of 1 over n for n from 1 to infinity. One of the key tasks of the theory of numerical series is to reach convergence. There are two possible cases. The series diverges if the sum of infinite amount of terms equals infinity. Or the series converges if the sum of the infinite amount of terms equals a finite number. We use uh, the sum of the series in economics when solving the problem of the continuous compounding percent. In math, more often we apply the special series convergence characteristics. Now, when we talk about convergence, there is one necessary condition that we need to remember. If the general term, if the limit of the general term of the series, a of n, for n tends to infinity, is undefined or non-zero, then the series diverges. Now let's apply this condition in practice. Now let's explore convergence of this series. Here we have polynomials in the numerator and denominator. Those of you who study well and are familiar with limits of series and disclosure of uncertainty method know that when the higher powers of numerator and denominator are equal, the limit is finite. However, let's explain how it works. So, limit of n over 7n plus 3, where n tends to infinity. At a first glance, it looks like infinity over infinity. But let's divide numerator and denominator by n. We get limit of n over n over 7n plus 3 over n, where n tends to infinity. This gives us limit of 1 over 7 plus 3n for n tends to infinity. The last term tends to 0 because we have n in the denominator and n tends to infinity. So we are left with 1 seventh which is not equal to zero. This means that research series diverges, as it doesn't fulfill the necessary condition of convergence. Why do we call this condition the necessary condition? That's because if the limit of the general term of the series tends to zero, it doesn't mean that the series converges. It is still necessary, however, this is not enough. The series may converge or diverge as well. In such cases, we apply other conditions. Now I'd like to introduce special series. 
Remember it as it's a key player among all the numerical series. This series looks like this. The sum of 1 over n for n from 1 to infinity. And this series is called the harmonic series. Now let's explain why it is called so. As you may know, all the sounds are produced by vibrating bodies which send out waves. The body vibrates in air or other substance around it, and sound waves appear, and we hear them like sounds. If a regular body vibrates, like for example this board, we hear irregular sounds, which we consider as noise. There are different types of noise, like white noise, red noise, and so on. Many percussion instruments, like cymbals, the triangle, etc., produce noises. The noise has no clear pitch, but if we take something more consistent, like a guitar string, for example, uh, it'll produce musical tones. All sounds consist of sine wave-shaped oscillations, known as partial tones. Both noises and tones produced with musical instruments consist of a bunch of various waves that our ear perceives as a whole. Sounds with just one frequency can only be generated using technical devices, but sounds produced with musical instruments or by singing consist of several tones. The main tone with the frequency F and overtones that are generally integer multiples of the main frequency, like 2f, 3f, 4f, and so on. Take a particular string, for example, the second string of a six-string guitar. When pitched, it vibrates 110 times per second. You may think that you hear just one particular tone, but in fact, you hear several tones simultaneously. These tones are tones with fractional length of the main tone, one-half, one-third, one-fourth, and so on, comprising the harmonic series. Now back to math. We can easily check that the limit of the general term of harmonic series, limit of 1 over n, where n tends to infinity, equals zero, because n in the denominator tends to infinity. This means that the necessary condition of convergence holds. At this point, our series can converge or diverge. We can't say for sure. But using math analysis, it was proved that harmonic series diverges. When we are dealing with such series as this one, we need to always keep in mind the concept of the generalized harmonic series, which looks like this. The sum of 1 over n raised to the 8th power for n from 1 to infinity. Such series converge if a is greater than 1, and they diverge if a is equal or less than 1. I want to emphasize that it doesn't matter what exactly the sum is. The fact that the series converge or diverge is more important. Now let's return to the bar tandem. We can consider bar portions as series. 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third and so on. We know that it's a harmonic series. And also we know that this series diverges. Therefore, the sum of all the terms is equal to infinity which explains why Batende was so angry. I hope that now you have some knowledge about numerical series and particularly about harmonic series. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys.